versus Darius Slay. He's been one of the NFL's best ball hawks this season with nine interceptions. It's the Eagles and the Giants, and it's coming right up on Madden NFL 23. From the stadium that hosted Super Bowl 48 back in 2014, there's a look at MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford. Today, it's a Week 14 matchup that should be a good one between the Philadelphia Eagles and the New York Giants. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you take a look at this Giants ball club. They come in losers of two straight, so they're trying to right the ship here a little bit. They're teetering a little bit, aren't they? And now things could really go south if they lose this game, so they understand the importance of playing well and stopping this streak. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Eagles, they've been as hot as anyone. The win last week makes it 9 out of 10. The results are hard to argue. If there's a team better suited for the postseason right now, I don't know who they are. Fielded just outside the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Here come the Giants, led out by their former sixth overall pick out of Duke back in 2019. Daniel Jones under center. I think his task in this game is really simple. Eliminate the turnovers. He threw two interceptions last week. I can't believe I led with that because he had three touchdown passes. Right. So there's a lot of good that he did, but he's got to take care of the ball better. The ball has to go to guys wearing the jerseys that they're wearing this week, not the opposition. Jones looking to throw right away. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. And once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Throwing Jones. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Now Jones. That'll be taken in there by Kenny Galladay. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an eagle slow to get up. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll run for the first time with Saquon Barkley. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. So back-to-back -back big runs picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing leg. I thought this was the air we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line. It's going to be a foul. It's going to So certainly a defensive mistake. Porter getting hit with a roughing the passer call. And that hurts not just because of the yardage you gave up and give them a fresh set of downs, but that brought the home crowd into this one. And when you go on the road, your job is to silence the crowd, not energize them. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. To throw again, Jones. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. Five yards, now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Looking to throw, Jones. And there it is, I think he caught it. He did, but they'll say out of bounds. It'll be incomplete. 
Now whistles and a stoppage here. Looks like one of the Eagles is in some discomfort out there. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. So Jones off, Graham Gano on here for the New York Giants field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Gano's kick is good. And the Giants are off now. 3-0 lead. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does you on points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Now, for the first time, we get to see this Philadelphia offense led out by their dual-threat quarterback now in his third season, Jalen Hurts. Tremendous production in college at two different universities, and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. He'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. The numbers for Sanders last week, he hit pay dirt so many times we almost lost track. Every time we turned around, he was in the end zone. And those weren't all just one-yard plunges either, partner. I mean, he ripped off a few long jaunts as well. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. They'll go again with Sanders. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. And who's got it? The Giants. And a little careless there, Charles, on that carry. And it's not just having two hands on the ball. It's tucking it away. It's using your body to keep people shielded off. There's so many different things. In and now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they play have under the review. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. for him here as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. Now we've got a giant player here slow to get up after that last play. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Eagle pressure, too much this time. Down he goes. Javon Hargrave, the D tackle, getting the sack. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Another try after the first down sack. Jones, this one goes out wide for Barkley. Short completion, just four yards. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. It's a game of four. Brings up third and 12. Back to throw, Jones. And uh, this pass broken up. Uh, the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. And the kicks away as he angles this one for the sideline. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. 
And they, if you just look at this game, Charles, on paper, they've got the edge, no doubt. They're hanging around the top of the NFC. On the other side, you got a squad that's towards the bottom of the NFC. But when we mentioned that to the coaches, they were having no part of it. Yeah, and I like how you said when we mentioned it. In fact, I mentioned it, and I upset them a little bit, didn't I? Because they wanted no part of that one, and I was reminded, like a five-year-old, this is the NFL. Any given Sunday, anything can happen. They're guarding against the upset. On third down, they'll run it with Sanders. And this is going to be an Eagles first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. The Eagles hit 11-1 now on the year. And they come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victories, CD. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. Here's Hurts to throw. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. A couple of players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. Hurts. It's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 15-yard line. 35 yards that time on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. And the Giants ready to come out now. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Looking to throw, Jones. Open target here, Darius Slayton. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 10 yards, good for a giant first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Jones on first down. That'll be complete to Cook. So five yards here, five on the play. And that will bring up second down. Back to throw, Jones. He's got Slayton on the slant. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 37. 19 yards to pick up there, move the chains. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 37 yard line. Meanwhile, Jones throw here, pulled in by Galladay. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. On second and very short, Jones finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. They'll look to throw again. That one to the sideline and a nice catch there. He stays in bounds, but a penalty Eagle marker foul. is down as well. well. That flag puts him on their heels a little bit more defensively as the officials walk it upfield. Yeah, they can blame the officials all they want, but bottom line, it's their own fault because to me, that was an avoidable call. Stay focused and avoid major mistakes like that. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Looking to throw. Jones, nowhere to go here. He lost the football.
Giants with the football. So crisis averted, but now facing third and goal. Back to throw. Jones. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Kaiser White, the former safety, gets the sack. They were in the top five in sacks in the league coming into this one. That's their third one in this game. Obviously, pass rush has been a strength of this team all year long. And apparently, they're not satisfied with top five. They want to climb that ladder. Yeah, I think it goes back to their offseason. They decided to make it a priority, and it's working out. Gano's kick is good. And they're able to double their lead in this first half. It's six to nothing. I don't know if they would have gone for it fourth and goal anyway, but the sack on third down pretty much made their mind up. You're exactly right about that. Because as you just noted, it took the decision making away from them. Now they have to go for a field goal instead of potentially going for it. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Well, as we roll on here in the month of December, week 14, coming up tonight, we got a good one in the AFC West. Get the parkas out, Kansas City and Denver from the frigid Empower Stadium at Mile High. And then tomorrow night, you can turn those parkas in for some shorts, golf polos, and flip-flops. Monday Night Football in Arizona. Patriots, Cardinals, 8.15 Eastern. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. The offense on third down, just one for three thus far. Here it's third and three. Intercepted. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. That's complete to Slayton. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. After the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. T.J. Edwards coming in hard there on the blitz. And he gets him seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. So that now four first half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. Jones throw taken in by Cook. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. Looks like a nine-yard loss, and it also brings up four. Well, Charles, this has been something to watch so far. This is where you really feel for a quarterback. He's been running for his life in this first half. Brandon, that's five sacks already, so you know he's got to be saying, can we get some more guys in here to block, please? Because if we don't, we're going to need another quarterback. Gano's kick is good, and that will make this a nine-point lead. So Charles, they get to them with their first try for the game, and then they can hold a little bit extra on the field. And any time you get the ball, what's the first thing the coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach turned his defense. The firemen, go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. And a good return is he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10, just shy of the 30. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but the yeah, throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for nine. 
It's a second down run with Sanders. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And this is going to be an Eagles first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. For a lot of people, MVP award means a quarterback award usually, but over 100 yards again last week. And they're going to have to look his way more than once when giving out this award this season. Yeah, it's not just the consistency. It's been some plays that we've seen where we talk about it for weeks thereafter. That's what we're getting out of him over 100 yards last week. Expect to continue that in this game, too. On first and 10, it's Sanders. Down to the 42, second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he's trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Second down, back to Sanders. Yeah, good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. 45 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Here's a throw out line complete to his running back right side. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. They run with a man from Law Tech. It's Boston Scott. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And he's good for the first down, coming up short as he's tackled at the 25. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. The kick by Elliott is good. And they are on the board. It's now 9-3. to three. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell us end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. On second down, here's Barkley. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Really love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance, but a short yardage trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, always a nice luxury to have, isn't he? A first down carry for Barkley. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Reminder coming up in a couple of minutes' time. We'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman, the coach in our EA Sports studios. They'll have a look back at the next-gen stats from this first half of action. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an eagle slow to get up. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Jones now. On first and 10. Flushed out right. And he wisely will throw that one away. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive. Had a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Throwing again on second and 10. Jones gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. A throw there, but that's 
going to wind up incomplete. Jamie Gillen now on to punt. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. And this one sails out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25. It will. 24-yard line is where they'll spot up. The Eagles just about set to go to work on offense. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. First down now, but that clock rolling. That's into the hands of Pascal. Holding offense. They were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You should going to pick up a holding call. A good throw here, finding Pascal. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. A nine-yard game on the way. From the gun, it's Hurts. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. He'll fire a desperation throw for the end zone. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Giants are going to take over in great field position. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it. So on comes the field goal unit. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. So that would have been something from that distance, but to no avail. Comes up empty as we have reached the intermission. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, let's get to some of these scores around the NFL here in a busy week 14. We begin with the Battle of the Lone Star State. Houston heading a few hours north to take on Dallas. And it's the Cowboys on top as they play the second quarter. Two touchdown passes there for Dak Prescott. From there, we head up to the Motor City to check in on the Lions at home at Ford Field. And it's the visiting Minnesota Vikings who are out in front. Two touchdown passes for Kirk Cousins there. Lastly, let's get up to Buffalo to check on the Bills. And at the moment, that game is tied with the visiting New York Jets. Time now for a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Eagles. And they were able to have a little bit of success on the ground. The question will be, will they stick with it? Or will they be throwing more to try and regain this lead? Meanwhile, for the Giants, you get a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And whatever they've done, it's worked, as they have the lead for two quarters of play. Both teams making their final adjustments for the second half to come. And to bring the action your way, we go back to MetLife Stadium and Brandon God. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. This one fielded at the five. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. Well, out of the locker rooms, here they come. Their first drive of the third quarter, and Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, but we got a tight one set up to be a very entertaining second half. And as we know, partner, in the NFL, there's trailing and there's trailing, right? Sometimes you're discouraged by how much you're down, but in this case, this is a tight ball game, so there's a sense of optimism here. I 
I think they went into half and looked at their play sheet and said, these are the plays we really like. We you say we use them to start the second half and get us going. So that run there, yeah, I don't know if it's overstating things to call it a thing of beauty, but in terms of football plays, that's as good as you're going to see. And what I really enjoyed about that run and what made it so impressive to me was how he improvised along the way. Sometimes on a big play, you just get the football and you take off in a straight line and go. But this time, how about the artistry of that play? That looked a little bit like a Picasso to me. They'll run with Sanders. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. The six yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Another run here with Sanders. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Miles Sanders, a six yard touchdown run. And the Eagles are an extra point away from taking the lead. So the first drive ended in three. This time they take it down and punch it in the end zone. So that first drive felt like they were just gathering knowledge, didn't it? Just enough to kick the field goal on the first one. And the second time they put it all together and got it all the way to the end zone. Elliott good on the extra point. And that will put them on top here in the third. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with the touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Giants offense now getting set to start the third quarter. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just letting you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go about doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, Barkley. And Barkley did not get there. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. And here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and ten. Hurt sets up to throw it. He's got Dallas Goddard, his tight end over the middle. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from me a little bit, and that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. He was brought down there by Julian Love. Another good run there for a guy who remember on Wednesday was named NFC Offensive Player of the Week for what he did a week ago. Yeah, and you know it takes some solid runs and some extra special ones in order to win that type of award. I think he's locked in and wants to get it done a second time. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 38-yard line. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They'll look to throw here. It's caught by Sanders. And he gets it all the way down inside the ten. And mark him at the five. A big play that time on the catch and run. 31 yards. He had one touchdown earlier, nearly a second one there. Yeah, it took a touchdown-saving tackle to keep him out of the end zone after a big play. Perhaps you go right back to him. Don't need the distance, but maybe he can pay things off after a big effort. Shotgun snap, and then the give to Sanders. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down about the two. From the two now, second and goal. Sanders again, and he's here. Touchdown, Miles Sanders, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And 
as his guys are able to extend their lead. Well, this offense only mustered three points in the first half on that field goal. They picked up the pace now. Two third-quarter touchdowns. Hey, you remember that appearance we had last week in front of that crowd, and, and they asked yeah. about halftime adjustments and all that that was going on. And remember what I said. It's not always an adjustment at halftime. Sometimes just remembering the game plan and playing better, tuning it up, and just working through it methodically, they got it done in this case. Of course, I'll always remember that appearance because I had on a brown belt with black shoes, and you pointed that out from the crowd. So thanks for that. I said that out loud. You did. Ah, my bad. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series. But we're... Oh, trying to fit it into Shepard, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Anthony Harris. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. So that a real wrench thrown in now for this offense. They're trying to make a game of this in the third quarter, but that is not going to help. Yeah, partner, probably should have used a different tool on that play, right? That ultimately is the kind of play where you can lose a ball game instead of being in a position to win. Elliott now to add the extra point. And the lead is up to 15 now. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. New York's offense back out there and set to go. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six. So we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. They'll go to Barkley again. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. Brings up third down. Throwing Jones. A throw for Galladay is going to be intercepted. Now he's hit on the return. It's a loose football. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. And he will score. Touchdown, Giants. Boy, CD, what a way to score. You want to talk about a roller coaster of emotions. They got the big play, then they cough it up. It seems to be disastrous, but his teammate is there to scoop it and score it. Not much else I can add to that, partner. I'll just say one thing. We just saw momentum swing several times on one play. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this play just to make sure. The question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that challenge is successful one. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Running right, here's Sanders. On the tackle, it was Dane Benton. Hey, is that the most spectacular play? I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of the drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And he 
doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. Sanders is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. So they brought the extra bulk in down on the one-yard line, and they're able to push this one across. Yeah, I can just see your face right now because I know we're mind-melding on this one. Coach Madden would love this. Power football, hat on a hat, chest to chest, driving forward, touchdown. Elliott on for the extra point. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. Just a four-play drive that time. And it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The New York set to take the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now Jones. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Operating from the gun. Jones. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Looks like a nine-yard loss, and it also brings up fourth. I think we've seen this before. Someone's down three scores. That situation there, it's just going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Three-score game, third quarter, three and out, not what they wanted. And you can tell on the sideline, those faces are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And taken right at the 35. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. The last run got a couple here. Second and eight. Another run with Sanders. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into Giant territory. Throwing his hurts. And that's complete to Sanders. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We have played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. Up the middle they go with Sanders. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 167 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. Right back to Sanders on first down. And he's going to get it inside the 10 to the 7-yard line. Here's second and one now from the 7. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the 1-yard line. The 6 yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. They'll try to run with Sanders. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Miles Sanders punching it in from a yard away. And the Eagles are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. Elliott good with a PAT. And that'll push the lead up to 29 now. So that drives seven plays in length. And it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. 
And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. As the Giants head back out there, let's take a look at the playoff picture in the NFC. And I tell you, four weeks still to go, and everything is wide open, and it's fun. And I know we always talk about, well, if the playoffs were to begin today, and then we kind of go, okay, but they're not. Let's see how it plays out. Wouldn't it be fun to play with this playoff lineup right now? Because to me, just about anyone can win this whole thing out of this grouping we currently have. And by the time we get there, it may look entirely different. The throw over the middle taken in. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. So for Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Flush to his right. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Again, he'll drop the throw. And this is Cook with a grab. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. And this offense on third down today, not so hot. Two for nine to this point. This time it's third and three. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And a throw there going to be incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The Giants go on fourth but come up empty. And the Eagles defense able to hold. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. He'll take it past the 40 to the 41. Second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll go again with Sanders. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. A gain of 14. First down, eagle. They'll run. It's Sanders. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They'll run with Sanders. And he's going to get this pretty close to the first down marker at the Giants' 24. 221 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. Now Sanders. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Another shot from the 9 on second and goal. Now a carry for Sanders. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. At this stage of the game, with the score where it is, the key here is to hand bounds, and he did just that. Not by a huge margin, but he stayed in. And those come up in what we like to call winning edge meetings. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Miles Sanders. Halfway to 100 now with career touchdown number 50. And the Eagles stretch this fourth quarter lead even further, and they are closing in on win number 12 of the season. They seemingly just continue to score at will, and <laughs> as great as it's been for the offense, you got to feel for that defense down there. I love how you use the word will because both teams came into the game with the will to win, but one team has obviously imposed its will on the other, and broken them because what we're seeing right now wow that's a defense that's in tatters after what they faced in this ball game 
Elliott good on the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Now out come the Giants. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. Now Jones throwing to start the drive. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's going. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. To throw on second and ten, Jones. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Looking to throw, Jones, and that will be incomplete. As this one moves towards its conclusion, another incomplete pass there. Thoughts on the secondary? <laughs> Seem to be pretty effective in this one. Yeah, I thought that they've been absolutely outstanding. I mean, their job is to prevent touchdowns, and not a single touchdown has gone on the board against them. Of course, they want to make it a total shutout, but hey, if you don't give up touchdowns, you got a heck of a chance to win. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. First and 10 and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Coming up on the final two and a half minutes. And boy, has it been fun to watch this offense operate. Quite the display, and now they look to polish it off. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Hurts. And he's got his man. It's the tight end, Goddard. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. Yeah, they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here, first and 10. On first and 10, it's Sanders. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Another run here with Sanders. They follow up the first down one-yard run with a minimal gain of two. He was taken down at the 22-yard line. On third down, they turn to Sanders. And he'll be stopped short of the first down, right around the 18-yard line. Going for it with Sanders. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. Now whistles and a stoppage here. Looks like one of the Eagles is in some discomfort out there. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and 10. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the eight. A gain of three, second down. He was brought down on the eight yard line. A three yard pickup brings up second and Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. And he's going to fall his way down to about the one yard line. It'll go as a gain of seven on the play and it sets up a third and inches situation. Here's Sanders, and he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Well, this is long since over, and some might see this as overkill, but remember, this is a team that puts on the hard hats, grabs the lunch pail, and tells everyone, we're going to give you a full 60 minutes, and that's exactly how they're playing this one out. Elliott now to have the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. A 10-play drive that time. And it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. Jake 
And this one travels out of bounds. So unsuccessful there on the onside kick try. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. Well, you don't see that often. He just mishit it, and it goes out of bounds. Well, I know sitting up here, and I'm looking at you, and you're looking at me, and I know we're both thinking the same thing. Isn't it easy enough to keep it between the sidelines? Because unless you're intentionally doing it for some reason, but that's a costly mishit, and now you put your team in a bad spot. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a Personal flag foul. down. Roughing the Let's check in with our referee. Defense. So the incomplete pass there, but the roughing the passer call bails them out. Which means you have to stay on the field on defense longer because you've given the offense free snaps, not to mention the free yardage after that mistake. One last shot at the end zone. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. It's second down and ten. One final shot. They'll look to throw. One last shot at the end zone. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance and by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. Certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camp, your offseason. But on game day, you both want to show your best. And I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense, a complete team victory. So for Philadelphia, the win moves them to 12-1 now on the year. And they'll get another road test next week as they head 